we're going to do the bulb of the ear here and take all this hair off. Right along the edge. I do about a little bit more than a finger's width down the outside rear of the ear. And the stripping helps keep the color there. If you don't strip, then you're going to have to use some chalk and put the color back in because it'll just be white. But he's got a nice mustard color once you strip off the long white hairs. Just take all these off. And you can see he's got some black in his coat. These guys usually have black tips when they're puppies and it clears. But even if it doesn't clear, like he still has some black, it's not a problem. It's not a disqualification or a fault or anything like that. They can have some different variances in their hair. So you see the black there. So then we're going to strip a little triangle right there. That's going to separate the top of the ear that we use for fill on the top knot from the bottom of the ear, which is the tassel. So you're going to start that right beneath the fold of the ear. Let's strip out that little triangle. And then you don't want these to, you, as you can see, this is like one continuous band of hair. So you want to separate the ear tassel from the hair above it so that you have your nice triangle here. So we'll strip it down to the sides. So you have a nice V there. You see it right along there and there. And that's what we do with the ears. Then you can take your small shears, these are like five inch shears, and trim anything along the edge. Anything that's sticking out. And I pinch the ear between my fingers so that I don't cut any ear. He has really quite generous ears. However, they do not have cropped ears, so we're going to do this one as well. And we're just taking off those little fuzzies on the edge. There we go. And you want to do that the front and the back. Gives it a nice clean ear edge. So you can see once we've got that cleaned up, doesn't want to hold you right. You can see that nice edge there. 